Hi everyone, Callum here from the TrackX team. This is just a quick introduction video to show you how quick and easy it is to make a professional sounding audio mix using loops, beats and samples in TrackX PC Pro. This video also shows you how I implemented some of the new features such as automatic crossfading and fades, segment snapping, sticky notes for envelopes, blue cat audio effects and more. To learn more about how to implement these features and to get a better understanding of them, please view our video tutorials. Ok, let's start by building up a mix. In the media browser, I can quickly preview my audio files by simply clicking on them. When happy with my selection, I can easily drag and drop the files into the mixing window. Here I'm going to use some of my funky house loops, which can be found and purchased by clicking on the buy loops online button. This will automatically take you to our shop, where you can purchase loops from different musical genres. When I drag an audio file into the mixing window, it will automatically be bound to global tempo, which is defaulted to 120 BPM. To check the BPM properties of your file, you can either right click on the file in the media browser and select properties and view the BPM, or else click on the BPM parameters button in the track name. You can also check the BPM by clicking on the segment properties icon on the audio segment. Here I can see my loops are at 125 BPM, so I'll just the global tempo to 125 BPM. Once I drag the file into the mixing window, it will become a segment, which I can expand and decrease, move around, and paint into other areas of the track. When you create a new segment, it will also be identified with a segment properties icon, which allows you to access the properties. You can also crossfade two audio segments on the same channel and change the crossfade type by right clicking on the crossfade and selecting a fade type from the fade type options. Crossfading works really well for creating a DJ mix. To turn the crossfading option off, click on the automatic crossfade icon. The track volume, height and width can also be adjusted. To delete a segment, right click on the segment and select delete segment. To delete a track, click delete track. We have also added the ability to zoom in and out of positions quickly to assist with precision editing and placement using the scroll wheel on your mouse. When you zoom in, you will notice more grid lines will appear. These grid lines represent audio downbeats and in general, audio will sound best when placed on these grid lines. Also, when the audio segment is beat synced, the segment boundary will align itself to the nearest grid line. This is extremely helpful for intricate painting and placement of your segments. If you do not wish to have your segments snapping to the grid lines within the mixing screen, click on the snap to grid icon in the toolbar. If you do not wish to have your track to be beat synced, Click on the Enable Disable Beat Syncing in the track name. All segments on this track will play at their normal detected BPM and will not snap to the grid lines. So let's introduce another loop into our mix. With our automatic beat syncing algorithm, it is very easy to align loops together. When I drag a file on, indents will appear. These indents indicate where the loop ends and will be repeated. I can use these indents to align the loops together so that they will be beat matched and stay in sync. These indents are also a very useful tool for keeping my mix organized. Another feature we've introduced to assist you with aligning segments is the segment snapping function. Segment snapping allows you to align segments exactly to his segments in channels above or below it. This is indicated by blue arrows in the top and bottom corners. To turn the segment snapping feature off, click on the segment snapping icon in the mixing window toolbar. So now I'm just going to build up my mix with more loops. Now that I've built up my mix, I'll quickly press play. I want to polish it off with some nice features. I'd like to introduce some audio effects to spice up my loops. 
To do this, simply right click in the area you'd like to add them, select Audio Effects and choose one from the drop down menu. Here I'll select Blue Cat Audio Flanger. A blue effects grid will appear. Here I can expand and decrease the grid, change the effect levels by altering the envelope and access the effect properties. I can also alter the effect properties while hearing the output in real time. Firstly, I'll quickly set up a loop region, so only the audio in this region will play, and I'll click on the loop play button. I'll press play to hear the output in real time. When I'm happy, I can click apply and then OK. I can also add multiple effects into the same area. When you adjust the length of the effects grid, the envelope within the grid moves with it. You can turn this feature off by clicking on the sticky notes icon in the mixing window toolbar. This works the same for volume and pan envelopes. OK. I've decided that I want to add a bass line to the start of my mix. Using the Auto Selection tool, this can be done easily. I simply click on the Auto Selection tool icon in the toolbar, and you'll notice the cursor has changed, indicating the selection tool is activated. While holding down the left button on my mouse, I can select every segment in my mix quickly, and move them as one unit. I've now created the space I require while maintaining all my previous edits and the positions within my mix. I'll now drag in my bass line into a free channel. I move the track to the top position. Now I can adjust my loop. I can press play to hear it. You can also use the selection tool for other functions. For example, highlighting multiple segments and adding them to groups so that they will always move as one group. You can also use the selection tool to copy and paste multiple segments into other areas of the mixing screen or into a new mixing window. This is a great way to improve your workflow. I can also edit my own loops and tracks in the track cutter. Makes you feel like I can this. highlight a section Makes you feel and then copy and paste it into the mixing window. Dancing, dance. Dancing. One of the final features we've introduced is the ability to add fades at the start and end of your segments. To do this, simply move your cursor to the top of the start or end of the segment until the fade graphic appears, and holding down the left mouse button, move accordingly. You can change the fade type by right clicking on the fade and selecting a fade type from the drop down menu. You can save your mix as you work by clicking either the save icon in the main toolbar or clicking file and save as. Here you can save your file as the .txm file which is our own proprietary file type. You can then open this file again at any stage. If you wish to export your mix to a popular file format such as mp3, m4a, wav and wma, click on the export mix button. Here you can save your file so you can play it on your favourite media devices such as iPads, iPhones and a PSP.